Hey guys, my name is Iman and in this tutorial I'm going to talk about uh, the concept of time series analysis and forecast using ARMA model. So, if you want to forecast the future, first you need to analyze historical data and then you need to assign that historical data to a model or to a system. And at the end, you can use that model or system to forecast the future. For example, let's say we have historical data on number of accidents in US or wine sale across different months or electrical load uh, in BC, British Columbia or I don't know market price so you are given this historical data and your goal is to predict the future so what you need to do is to analyze the historical data and then assign that historical data to a model and at the end you can use that model to predict the future so that's the main goal now if you look at this problem from a systematic point of view you are given this observation and you want to fit these observations to a system so you can do this type of modeling if and only if why or your observation is a stationary process. From technical point of view, a process is called a stationary if the expected value is constant and if the covariance is a function of lag, not a function of time. So the first condition means you have signal like this, just intuitively. As you can see, it goes up down, it goes up and down, but you know, the mean is always constant around zero. But for example, if you have trend, this is not a stationary signal because it goes up. Or you have, if you have something like this, this is not a stationary signal because it goes down. The second sentence intuitively means the variance is constant. For example, this is not a stationary signal because the variance, or I can say mean to max, is increasing. This is not a stationary. So again, you can do this type of modeling if y is a stationary process. But the problem is many signals or many processes that we work with are not stationary. So the first task is to make a non-stationary signal stationary and then we can feed that uh, stationary signal to a model. In general, each signal is a combination of trend, seasonality, and random fluctuation. So in order to make a non-stationary signal stationary, first you need to remove trend, and then you need to remove seasonality, and hopefully after removing trend and seasonality, you end up with random fluctuation, which is a stationary signal. And at that point, you can feed that random fluctuation to a system. So again, the first step is to remove trend and seasonality to uh, hopefully get a stationary signal. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to explain how to remove trend and seasonality. Thanks for watching this tutorial.